Alright guys, it's been a while, I know. This is my last YouTube video. And, uh, this is my review of the, the Andrea Proplex. Let me get a nice fresh one here. I'm about to rub the decal off that one. The DeAndrea Proplex Pick. I got them in probably about a month or two ago, but I just ain't been too lazy to sit down and, uh, put a video on them. Nice little tortoiseshell color to them. If I had a light behind me, then you could probably be able to see it better. I don't know how well you're seeing this. But the front is good for um, if you need to move around a little bit. The back, surprisingly, these are very uh, not slick. They're, uh, they don't move that much. Um, this is 1.5 millimeter. I was playing with the Dunlop Gator Grip the green 1.5 and I'm telling you a tr tremendous sound difference uh, between the two uh, I think I can safely say as many times have I said this I think I can safely say that this is the pick that I'm going to stick with from now on hopefully hopefully I won't go back on that but the, the DeAndre pick just blows all the other ones I've tried and reviewed away um, it sounds like nothing else I've ever had. Uh, I don't. I haven't tried the blue chip pig, I haven't tried the red bear pig or any of those, but I'm telling you for $6.99 a dozen you can't beat these pigs. I mean I've, I've been wearing this one out and there's hardly any wear on it whatsoever. You can probably see it just barely in the corner right there and that's it. And I've had these pigs using them for a good month or so. But anyway enough talking, here's the sound difference. This is the uh, Dunlop Gator Grip 1.5 millimeter. Sound hole, so you can hear it from. trying to uh, fork a deer. <laughs> That's the uh, the gate grip now. One final strum here. Might be a little brighter, I don't know. These are the elixir phosphor bronze. I've had these on about a month now. And they still sound brand new, still awesome. Nice slide still. But I'll tell you, these are a wonder. I was really amazed at the fact that it's a, this is made out of V resin, is what they call it. And I was amazed that usually you find a polished pick or a celluloid type pick that's real slick. It usually makes uh, your guitar sound brighter. I don't have one on me. But uh, like the old text that I were using, if you go back to one of those videos way back when and check out the old text picks, you'll hear that they're a lot brighter sounding. Probably because they're, well, they're still one millimeter, most of them were that I was using, but they still had a real bright sound as compared to the, the Delrin material, Tortex. But these, even though they're shiny and they're real 
you know, slippery as far as releasing on the string. They release off the string quicker because it's a slicker material than the, the Delrin. But they have a, a nice deep tone. I was surprised that it wasn't really bright and stiff and brittle sounding. So let's try the same song with, let's try the same two songs I guess, I'll Fly Away and uh, Porky Deer, with uh, the D'Andrea 1.5 millimeter. Let's see if you can hear the good sound. The only complaint I really have about this is it was hard to get used to a side that's kind of slippery where you can adjust your finger, which is the logo side, and the side that's not. My finger kind of, sometimes it shifts in my hand and I can't get it back in position where I need it to be. But I guess after it wears away a little bit, it might work a little bit better. Oh, and another thing I found out, I tend to ha uh, put picks in my mouth while I'm doing something else. And I began to notice, I don't know why, but I began to notice a funny taste in my mouth. Almost a numbing feeling, like benzocaine or something. So, I don't know what's on these. I don't know if it's like a, uh, a polymer coating for, like, polished. I think they're supposed to be polished, but they taste bad, okay? So, guitar is not about taste, unless you think about taste in music. But that's the only bad complaint I have about them. You need to try these. These are awesome picks. They're a little stiff. But once you're up to that grade, I mean, you don't want to go back down. I mean, everything else is flimsy. So I, de I definitely recommend these. They come in all shapes and sizes. They, this is the classic style. They come in like a rounded teardrop looking thing. And it's kind of like a, I don't know, like a little upside down house looking thing. All different kinds of shapes. I, I prefer classic. That's what I've always went to. My battery light's going on. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. And pretty soon I'll put some more string changes on here. As I've been requested, I'll play. It's my Morgan Monroe. I'll play a, few, a little bit with the old strings. And then when I change the new ones, I'll play a little bit with them so you can see the sound difference. Thanks for watching. And uh, thanks for letting me get uh, above 20,000 views. I couldn't believe it. Appreciate you guys. And uh, let me know how I'm doing. Thanks. See you next time.